Okay, now in this video, we'll discuss about the ratio theorem. So what exactly is the ratio theorem? Okay, now the ratio theorem looks a bit like this. Okay, now imagine you have a origin here and a point A. Okay, let's call this OA and there's a point called OB. So, oops, sorry, let's join it to join the O to B first and join the A to B so this shall be the vector A and this shall be the vector B now let's say we have another point here on AB called P and uh, let's join the O to P and this shall be our vector OP okay so this point such that our point P cuts the vector AB in the ratio of M is to N okay so this M is to N and the job here is to find or figure out what is OP Alright, so how do we find the vector OP? So that's the that's the whole idea of what ratio theorem is all about. Now let's think about or let's try to figure out what's the formula. Okay, first of all, uh, we all understand that we can actually find the vector AB. Okay, which is uh, using the subtraction law, AB will be equal to OB minus OA. So in this case, our AB will be equal to B minus A. Okay, nothing too difficult about this. Okay, and in that sense, we can figure out our AP as well isn't it because AP is actually part of AB and AP is actually the M of M plus N of our AB okay think about it this way so imagine that this is um, two units and one unit so total there will be f three units here so the AB entire AB will be three units and what we are interested in is actually two out of the three units okay in this case will be the M out of the M plus N so in this case our AP will be equal to M over M plus N times of the B minus A so this is our vector AP so then we know and we understand that our AP vector is actually equal to OP minus OA isn't it so in this sense if we were to make our OP the subject okay so OP will be equal to AP plus OA all right so we will shift shift this um, let me use another color shift this OA over to the left and it becomes plus OA isn't it all right so let's see okay so our job remember that our job is to find OP okay and now we know what is our AP because uh, from here, right? From what we figure out, right? So AP go to M over M plus N times of my B over B minus A and plus OA, which is A itself. Okay, so let's try to simplify this. We will have um, M over M plus M B minus M over M plus N A plus a okay so let's try to work this out all right in the sense that this one we need to simplify this okay after all they are all in a's so let's try to um, simplify this a little we will end up with m over m plus n multiplied by b okay um, and let's put a big bracket how about that okay so we have a minus m over m plus n times of a okay and making common denominator all right so we will end up with m over m plus n times of b okay plus all right whew, n plus m a minus m a over m plus n okay so after you multiply in okay and you realize that m and M A will be cancelled away, so we end up with M B over M plus N plus okay uh, N A over N plus M okay, and combining them we have M B plus N A over M plus N. Okay, so as you can see, it is pretty tedious for us to go through everything here just to find the vector OP okay so what the ratio theorem is all about is basically doing all this in one step okay bear in mind that the setup is forever something like this okay you have a triangle you have three points OAB and you are interested in the vector OP 
Okay, so according to the ratio theorem, we can do all this in one step. Okay, and uh, it won't be too surprising to see that the formula actually look a bit like this, which is MB plus NA over N plus N. Okay, so which is this answer over here. Alright, uh, and if we know this formula, we can just simply apply this formula and get the vector OP directly in one step rather than going through all this. Okay, so how do we then remember this formula? It's actually not as difficult as you may imagine. So remember that the setup is always something like this. Okay, what you do is the ratio M is to N. What you do is you take the M, multiply over to the vector opposite, which is B. Okay, and what you do next is you take the N, multiply to the vector opposite, which is A. Okay, add them together. Okay, that's how you end up with this. Uh, let me highlight using a highlighter. Okay, so you end up with uh, MB multiplied by NA. Add, add them together, MB plus NA. Okay, and then what you do is you divide by the total proportion, which is the M plus N. Okay, so the total proportion M plus N will be the denominator. Okay, so so in this case, in this sense, if you know the formula, you can apply this formula uh, directly to find OP. So very quickly, let me show you one particular example and uh, how we use this formula. Okay, so let's scroll down a little. Okay, how, okay, something like this. Okay, now let's say we have a vector OA. Um, no, this color isn't very nice. Okay, let's try. Okay, let's say we have a vector OA. Same setup. Okay, except that now we'll be really, uh, really using a real life example. Okay, O A O B. So this shall be our vector A, our vector B, and we have a vector, a point called P, such as is in the ratio of two is to one. Okay, and uh, we are interested to find out what is the vector O P. Okay, this vector over here. So according to the ratio theorem, all right, O P will be equal to two. Let me highlight using a different color. Two multiplied by the B. So that gives me my two B. Okay, and the 1 multiplied by the A. So something like a cross multiply thing, if you ask me. So that may help you remember this a bit. Okay, and the total proportion will be the 2 plus 1, and that gives me my 3. So as you can see, you can get your OP immediately. So there you go, this is how you get an OP. Okay, so this is the midpoint theorem. Now, as a result of midpoint theorem, uh, sorry, the ratio theorem, I mean, okay, the ratio theorem. So as a result of this ratio theorem, there, there comes another theorem, and that is called the midpoint theorem. Okay, so what exactly is the midpoint theorem? Well, it is basically an extension of the ratio theorem. In fact, uh, if you ask me, in, an, uh, in, a, in a perspective, they are the same. Okay, so let me explain what exactly is this midpoint theorem. So, uh, again, the setup is this triangle, OAB triangle. We have the OA vector and we have the OB vector. And now, instead of the point P that cuts the AB in certain ratio, we have a point called M, such that the M is the midpoint of the vector AB. So now, this OM, if we are really interested to find the OM, we can make use of this ratio theorem. It's something pretty easy. So let's try to find out. Okay, OM, according to the ratio theorem, now if this is a midpoint, this will be in the ratio of 1 is to 1. Okay, and when you take the 1 multiplied by the B, you get the B. And when you take the 1 multiplied by the A, you get the A. Okay, and uh, you divide by the total proportion, you actually get 2. So the midpoint theorem basically works a bit like this. It's simply A plus B divided by 2. Okay, so if you know the ratio theorem, all right, you will know your midpoint theorem. Okay, so there you go. This is something like a formula that you can use to help you find the vector you need in a very, very quick time.